So hi guys, you are welcome to DSSG Nation. So if this is your first time watching a video from DSSG Nation, do make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button so we can notify you whenever we create a new video. So today we are going to be talking about the cardiovascular system. So pick your pen and note and let's get started. So, let's start with the meaning of the cardiovascular system. So, when you say cardio, so cardiovascular system. Now, this word card, so card itself means the arts, it means the organ parts. So, whenever I see the word card in anatomy, it means arts. So, this word vascular. It's talking about the blood vessels, so it's denoting blood vessel. So, which means in the cardiovascular system, we are going to be talking about the heart, we'll be talking about the blood vessel. And now, what runs within the blood vessel? And that, is, and that will lead us to the third one that we're going to be talking about, and that is the blood. So, those are the three things that we're going to be talking about in the cardiovascular system. So, let me just explain these and let's start with the blood vessels. Because um, it's a lot simpler and it will assist us while talking about the heart as well. So let's start with the blood vessels. Now, for the blood vessels, blood vessels. For us to have a better understanding of the blood vessels, let me tell us the blood tract. What do I mean by the blood tract? The blood tract is the, um, the pathway of blood. So let's say we have the heart here now. The heart. So some kind of vessel, blood vessel is going to take the blood away from the heart. So this vessel, they are called the artery. And now look at it. It starts with A. I don't know if that's a coincidence. So this A is called a way. So they carry blood away from the heart. So actually does what? Actually carries blood away from the heart. And now, after the it's going to branch into what we call arterials. 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 So when you hear the word eos or ools in anatomy, it means smaller branches. Smaller what? Smaller branches. But smaller branches of what? Smaller branches of the preceding word. What do I mean by the preceding word? Let's say we have archery like this. Now you move the Y and add EOs. It means smaller branches of a tree. So arterials is what? Arterials are what rather? They are the smaller branches of arteries. Now let's take another example. Let's use broom kills. In the respiratory system, we have a structure called the bronchi. Bronchi. But when you say bronchioles, it means the smaller branches of what? Of bronchi. So, this actually is going to give rise to smaller branches called arterioles. Arterioles. I hope you are getting this now. So, the arterioles is going to form the capillary bed. So, capillary bed. Capillary bed. Capillary bed, and then the capillary bed is going to give rise to smaller branches of vein. Now, get it? We have vein, right? But we won't call it venous. On the other hand, we are going to call it venous. So we have the ooze this time around. So then the venous will give rise to what now? It will give rise to vein. Vein. So this is the way. So if artery carries blood away from the heart, so this vein is doing what? It's carrying blood towards the heart. So the blood will go like this into the artery. Artery will take it away from the heart. And then it will go into arteries, then into the capillary bed, then into the venous, and from the venous into the vein. And the vein will carry it back into the heart. So that is the blood tract. And from the blood tract, what can we deduce? We see that. We have two, uh, two um, blood vessels here. We have the artery, we have the vein. 
actually carries blood away from the heart. While veins returns the blood back to the heart. So let on another blood vessel here, and that is the capillary bed. So what's their function? I'm going to be talking about them later. So let me clean the board and let's start again with type of blood vessels. Now, I said the cardiovascular system um, is composed of the heart, the blood vessels, and the blood. So I said we should start it what? We should start with the blood vessels. So the blood vessels, they are structures. They are structures that either carries blood, that either carry blood away from or to the heart. So what's the meaning? Blood vessels are structures. There are some kind of structures that carry blood away from the heart or towards the heart. So from here, we are going to realize that the, heart, the kind of blood vessels that takes blood away from the heart are the, the arteries. And those ones that carry blood back to the heart are the, the veins. So that's just a simple definition of the blood vessels. Now, we now have three types of blood vessels. Three types of what? Blood vessels. So the first one are called the arteries. Arteries. So let's use artery. Singular. Artery. So the second one, vein. And the last one, um, capillary bed. So the capillary bed. Capillary bed. So these are the three types of what? Of blood vessels. So what are arteries, what are veins, and what are the capillary veins? These arteries, from our definition we said, actually carries blood away from the heart. And then vein. They are blood vessels that carries blood towards the heart. Let's leave this one for now. We'll talk about this some other time. Now, arteries are what? They are blood vessels that carries blood. A actually away from the heart so from what from the heart why vein out they are blood vessels that does what that carries blood if it is not a way to not blood towards towards the what now towards the heart and that is that for the definition of actually and vein so let's start with the actual alone. So in our next video, we're talking about the vein. So let me give you some seconds to write this down. So now let's start with the actual. So we said actually our blood vessels that carry um blood away from the heart. So we now have two types of arteries, two types of roots, two types of artery. So the first one are called the anastomosis, anastomosis, and the second one are called the end arteries. So what are anastomosis and what are end arteries? Simple. I want to just take this fact. The food of every organ is blood. That is, the food that we human beings eat to give us energy for us to survive. It is on the contrary. I mean, it is not on the contrary, but it is not the same thing. With the organs in our body. So organs in our body they eat blood. Although the blood and this nutrient that they are eating from the blood are coming from the food. We are going to be getting a better understanding of that while talking about the digestive system. So let's come back to the cardiovascular system. So every organ in your body, their food is what? The blood. So let's say we have an organ right here. So if this is an organ, so it has to receive blood supply from a natural. So let's say this is the main natural now. The main natural. So this is this is an action. Now, blood is going to flow like this into the organ, and the organ is going to feed, it's going to eat, and it's going to survive. Now, let's imagine that there is a kind of occlusion, a kind of blockage, that something is blocking the blood from going into this organ. So the blood will have to come back. Do you get that? But anastomosis, they are kind of arteries that provides alternative circulation to what? To an organ. What do I mean? Whenever this main artery is blocked, there are some tiny arteries like this radiating from the main artery into the organ. So while the blood is coming back, it is just going to take its roots into this artery and then back to the organ. So they can also be here as well. 
So whenever this main artery is blocked, they provide an alternative circulation. So these two arteries now, they are what? They are anastomosis. They are what? Anastomotic arteries. So anastomotic arteries, they provide what? Alternative circulation. Alternative circulation. So whenever the main artery is included, they provide what? Alternative circulation for the organ. So, where can we find them in the body? So, the example is what? The palm of the hand, the palm of the hand, and the sole of the feet. Sole of the feet. So, the palm of the hand and the sole of the feet. So, now to end that use, just as the name sounds, end, they are blinded. So, if this is an organ right now, organ. So, and this is the actual supplement. This is actually supplying it. So, this organ is going to receive blood. It's going to receive its food like that. So, now imagine that something occludes this artery, something blocks it. So, whenever this main artery is blocked, this organ will not be able to eat again and then it's going to die. So, it does what? It dies. So, the end arteries, whenever they are occluded, whenever their main artery is occluded, the tissue they supply dies. But for the anastomotic arteries, whenever the main artery is occluded, the anastomosis provides what? Uh, an alternative circulation. You can also call it collateral circulation. Collateral. Collateral circulation. So, and the places you can find them in the body are the palm of the hand and the sole of the feet. But for the end arteries, you can find them in the retina of the eye. Retina of the eye. Retina of the eye. So, whenever the tissue is supplied, I mean, whenever the main artery is occluded, the tissue is supplied that. No talk at all. Now, a quick recap. So, for the cardiovascular system, we said we are going to be talking about three things. We are going to be talking about the blood vessels, the heart, and the blood. So, I said the blood vessels are of three types. We have the artery, the veins, and the capillary blood. So, I said the artery, they carry blood away from the heart. Why the vein carries blood towards the heart? And then we said we have two types of arteries. We have the anastomotic arteries and the end arteries. So, these anastomoses, they provide an, um, an alternative circulation when the main artery is included. So we can find them in the palm of the hand and the sole of the feet. But for the end arteries, just have a blind end. So whenever they are included, the tissue or the organ they supply dies. And that is that about, about the types of artery. So let's move directly to, what, to the structure of an artery. So let me clean the board and then talk about that. Now, artery. So let's talk about the structure of an artery. The structure of an artery. How does it look like? Now, let's say this is the actual now, the blood vessel. So it's supplying an organ like this. So, if we are looking at this, we won't be able to see its structure. We won't be able to see it clear. So let's say we cut it like this. Then it's going to tilt and give us something of this nature. So this is how it's going to look like. What do I mean? Let's say this marker is this blood vessel. So if I cut this marker like this, and after cutting it into two, it's going to be giving you something of this structure. So if you cut this thing into two like this, you are going to be seeing something of this nature. And that's what I'm doing right here. Now, you realize that from this place to this place is the first layer. And then from this place to this place is the second layer. And from this place to this place, this very tiny one is the third layer. So it means Hatchery has was three layers. So what are those three layers? So layers of Hatchery. Layers. So we have the tunica adventitia. Tunica what? Adventitia. So the tunica adventitia is the first one. It is the outermost layer. Tunica adventitia. And the second layer is called the tunica media so it means this two is the tunica media and then the last layer is called tunica intima so it means this three is the word tunica intima so i'm going to clean the word and then we'll talk more about them now to the structure of the action
So this is how it looks like. So this outer nose layer, this one, is called the tunica adventitia. Adventitia. So the middle layer here, that is from here to here. So you can add some kind of trials lines. So and that is what the middle layer called the tunica media. And the last one here, we're just going to add stria like this as well. But it's going to be denoting cells. So you add your dot denoting the nucleus. The dot means the nucleus. And that is the innermost layer called the tunica intima. So those are the three layers of the atrium. And now you realize that we have a solo space here. This space is called the lumen. Lumen is the space within the blood vessels. So let's call it a stop for today. And then in our next class, we are going to be talking more about the tunica identity, the tunica media, and the tunica media. So if you have not subscribed, make sure you do that. And then you click the notification icon because that is what will remind you whenever you create a video. So in order for you to stay tuned, just make sure you do that right now. So let me greet you once again. Welcome to the same situation.